Spend the day with me. Yes, I look kind of crusty, rusty, and ready this morning, but getting ready to head out and do some grocery shopping. Had a little grocery fiasco yesterday. Excuse me. Going to share that with you later. But right now, I'm getting ready to get in the shower and get ready. And I'll see you in a few. So, hello there. Here we go. Getting ready to go to Aldi's. If I have a chance to vlog a little bit in there, I will. But I had a little issue yesterday with Walmart delivery. Uh, they delivered my packages and then the driver did very well. But uh, when they got home, when, they, when I unpacked everything and looked at it, half of the stuff I ordered was not there. So I immediately called them to try to find out, well, what, where's my groceries? You know, I need my groceries. And then the customer service person, he, he was like, well, I can give you a refund. No, I want my groceries. I don't want a refund. I want what I ordered. I mean, it was like 80 bucks worth of stuff that they didn't even put in the back in the stuff. And he's like, well, I don't think we can pick, we can get it. Um, I'll have them check and see if yours is still there. But more than likely, it got delivered to somebody else. So somebody else got free groceries. <laughs> because when I have something in mind that I don't, that's not mine, and I guess this is payback, I don't, I don't drive back up there and take it to it. Twice I did, because it was like dog food or cat food or something that I didn't need. But honestly, it was such a pain trying to get through to them, trying to explain what was going on. So I figured, Debbie, you're going to have to go out and buy your groceries, which is no big deal. Um, I had a few days off this week, so I'm feeling good, doing well. I'm going to go and do some shopping. Talk to you in a few. This is my first vlog of spend the day with me. So here we go. Well, happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome back to another haul slash vlog day. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate this in my vlogging, but I'm trying to get better at vlogging and try to take you guys along with me when I shop. But um, the Aldi's was a little too busy um, and I'm not quite comfortable with <laughs> vlogging outside of the home or, you know, around crowds and stuff. So, um, it's something I'm getting used to. So let's get to looking at what I had to get from all these because Walmart let me down. And I know you all are saying, well, why do you keep going to Walmart when you don't like it? Because it's just Walmart and it's convenient. <laughs> And it's convenient to have it brought to the house, but um, I think I'm going to be venturing out to Aldi's more because Aldi's is it's not that far from here. And their prices are good. This wasn't even $100 worth of groceries. So I think it's pretty good. But a lot of times I don't like to go into the grocery store because I have a habit of impulse buying. And that's what happened today. And I'll show you. Let's take a look. Okay. Here we have. These are the things that I ordered yesterday from Walmart. And um, yeah, it didn't come with my groceries. <laughs> so here we have 
some um plus the the all these doesn't have all name brand or, or they have their brand stuff which has improved over the years so i'm happy to say that but um here we have toilet tissue restocking my uh bin my um supplies of those um here's some um potatoes these little baby Dutch yellow potatoes, those golden potatoes, they are yummy if you you cook them in the oven and then smash them with some garlic seasoning on them. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Garlic and butter seasoning. Here we have some ham for sandwiches. Here in back, we have some provolone cheese here. Um, and I got two packs of those for the price that I would have gotten one pack of Kraft at at um, Walmart some Mexican style cheese uh, we like well my son likes to put this on his meals and stuff but I put it on salad sometime because I'm again lactose intolerant so I don't, I don't eat much cheese here we have some uh, a little pork meal seasoned and seared pork uh, barbecue that I'm gonna um, heat up and cook for sandwiches for dinner this evening um, back here we have some bagels they are maple french toast flavor thought we would give those a try here are some of our sweet peppers we were supposed to get sweet peppers yesterday they didn't come in the thing <laughs> my salads uh, salad for the week also missing from my order some um, sandwich skinnies that's gonna go with the pork sandwiches and I'm gonna make that with some potatoes and some vegetables for dinner um, these little calzones were on sale and they were like two dollars for a piece um, thought that was something my son would like or my husband would want when he comes home from work uh, some tomato soup that can be tomato soup probably with some cheese sandwiches grilled cheese sandwiches um, my blueberries that I ordered yesterday didn't come strawberries now this is something interesting they are pinkaboo strawberries and they're supposed to have a touch of pineapple taste to them so I've never had these and I've seen other people talk about them and say they are good. So yeah, I ventured out and <laughs> and tr I'm going to try them. So I'll be prepping those up and cutting uh, cutting those up and putting them in with my blueberries in the refrigerator for the week. Bought two um, packs of ground turkey. The ground turkey was another thing that was missing from yesterday's order because I'm going to be making uh, baked spaghetti for meals this week and I need my ground turkey. You can't, well I could make it and just put cheese in it and noodles and sauce. Okay, an impulse buy. I've been thinking all week and looking on um, Amazon at um, French presses because you know we're coffee connoisseurs here in the house and, and uh, always looking for a different way of drinking coffee and my husband and I were talking about them and I and I was gonna get one off of Amazon and they were kind of like $25 $30 depending on the kind and the name brand and I figured to just try it out I saw this at Aldi's an impulse buy but it was $12.99. So I bought bought us a French press. And I'll have my husband do a taste test and let you know. Okay. Not the first time I've had coffee made in a coffee press. But the first time I've made coffee in a coffee press. This is a coffee press that Debbie bought in the uh, and showed in the hall yesterday. Or, or whenever you're seeing this video. And... Um, the instructions are straightforward, simple, a lot more complicated or a lot more steps than just putting it in there. But, you know, we're, we're going to see what it tastes like. It seems to look okay. Looks like coffee. Looks like coffee in the decanter. 
So we're going to try it out. All right, let's see. With no cream, no sugar or anything. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a candle. Aldi's has a, a wide variety of candles. And it's a soy blend. And I, I thought, and I'm trying to go a little healthier with my candles and my wax melts. And uh, have it be soy. Because I, I do have, I used to. I didn't, I'm not accepting that anymore. Because I am, <laughs> I'm good with it. I haven't used an inhaler in a long time. And um, I used to suffer from asthma with smells and different things like that. So I had to be very careful about perfumes and candles and different things but I haven't had that <laughs> amazingly since I've been working from home the last three years so I've been good with that but this is a soy candle so we'll see how well that goes and then down here and it's upside down aha uh -huh, some sparkling water um, that I picked up from Aldi's but this all of this was less than a hundred bucks from Aldi's so I gotta start venturing out and going to Aldi's probably more but it was like 80 bucks of stuff that they didn't send yesterday so I'm getting a credit back from Walmart and I'm <clears throat> gonna be spending less in my a grocery budget because of their little mistake. So I look at it as a blessing. God was trying to, God did bless me <laughs> to, to spend less money this week on my groceries. So here we have it, my little Aldi's haul. And I might, um, I want to try to have a, a bonfire tonight since this is my last official day off from work, my birthday week. <laughs> But um, thanks for watching, and I want to uh, thank all of the new subscribers that I have. I'm going to be venturing out and doing vlogs and doing a lot more um, interaction to entertain you other than my food videos. But we love you, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Thank you so much for tuning in to this little mini haul and my impulse by <laughs> but have a great weekend love you bye bye okay time to get some cleaning done gonna clean up this living room a little bit and I got some new things from Amazon so let's go
thought I would come in and close out my day in the life little vlog here today as I sit here and finish up my tasks for today. Um, paying a few bills online, getting that stuff done as we get ready to go into a new month. January has been good to me. It was my birthday month and I as I told you earlier, I took a few days off for that, and those were productive and nice days. As you saw earlier, I went out and went shopping today and got a few things and showed you my haul, which will probably be in a different video. But I um, thought I would come on out and close out my vlog. Um, as you can see, I did my hair yesterday. I... Um, I do twists and then I I'm all natural for real because it's all gray and I'm loving it I love the gray I love the the style that I'm wearing right now because it's easy I just uh, twist it I, after twisting it up I plait these together and put a scarf on at night and then it comes out with the little wavy curls so very easy um, it lasts me about two weeks and then I redo it again or think of another style that I want to do I'm a very I'm a hair person I really love doing hair and doing seeing my hair done but um, my hairdresser used to tell me before that I lost I missed my calling that I really should have been a hairdresser but who knows maybe I'll pick it up in retirement But it was great spending the day with you all. I uh, hope you enjoyed my first day in the life with Debbie vlog. I'm probably going to show you a few pictures of my dinner. Um, I'm going to make that uh, pork roast pulling for sandwiches and then um, some baked smashed potatoes and broccoli. And um, once my husband plates it up, I'll let you all see. I'll take a picture of it and insert it in here. And what he's trying to do is train me on um, completing and, and editing my own vlogs. Um, that's something that I, I need training in because I can do the little shorts on my phone, but I don't have a... Uh, editing program on my phone and I would much rather it on my laptop which he bought him and my son got me a new laptop for Christmas so I'm loving that because my other one was about 14 years old not 14 I got it in 2014 and I only use my laptop for like paying bills and and uh, emails occasionally I rarely use it for emails because I have the email system on my phone and I can just answer what few emails I get um, that way. I'm sorry, the lighting is getting a little messed up here, but I'm sitting in my little chair here doing uh, my little computer things, like I said, paying my bills. And maybe tomorrow I'll do an unboxing because I bought a neat little book uh, that was recommend it's a coffee table book that I that Tiffany I don't know if you all watch it's a Tiff family vibes her vlogs I love her and because she's so funny <laughs> but um she rec she showed this book and it was only 20 bucks on Amazon so I'm gonna do an unboxing for that and I bought a pair of shoes this week also and I'm um, gonna re show that to you guys in another video because I'm ending this vlog my knees are telling me girl you need to sit down somewhere <laughs> you done did too much today to say you still on vacation but it was a lovely day thanks for watching we love you and there's nothing you can do about it maybe mr. Lawson will be in my next video peace